Okay, so in the last video, I set up a material for vertex painting that allows us to control the fall off a little bit. Uh, what I'm going to do in this video is actually hook up all of the proper materials for that. So this is the material that I've got, and this is where we left it in the last video. The only thing that I've done is to duplicate this bit of uh, I guess this bit of code, if you like, that we did, this bit of maths, and um, I've just duplicated it so that our vertex colors, we've got the red going through that, then we've got the green just going through a copy of that, and the blue going through a copy of that. What I'll do now is bring in my the textures that I want to control, so they are these three uh, I'm going to have these three concrete textures to start with and then I'm going to make a, a simple water shader as well. Okay, so I need a lerp and what I'm going to say is I'm going to put the this base concrete texture into the A of the lerp and I'm going to put this uh, variation of the concrete texture into the B and I want to power that lerp through the red channel of this. So the red channel is just going through this bit of code that we had and I'm going to put that into the alpha. Now I'm just going to put some texture coordinates in here just because my textures are a little bit, uh, they just need to tile a bit less. So I think this one's okay where it is, but these two are just uh, they're a bit too, uh, they just need to tile a bit larger. So let's plug that lerp into the base color and apply that. And now we can just get our red channel and anywhere that I paint into the red channel I'll start to get this texture coming through and you can see that it's got that fall off. Now for this texture this fall off might not be exactly what we want. The other thing is because of the way that I've set this up my values when I paint in are going to get pushed towards one so it's going to be quite hard to just create like a little bit of um, soft transition. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set up a value so that I can control the way that these things blend. This this blend is going to be good for some stuff, um, but not so good for, for maybe these two textures that can just kind of blend together quite closely. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create another lerp in here. And this is the bit of maths that we set up before to get this kind of uh, mottled fall off. If I just came straight out of the alpha channel, uh, out of the red channel, the vertex, then that would just be how that would just get rid of that mottled fall off. Um, so this would just be how it was originally before we did the stuff that we did in the last video, and this is how it is now. What I can do is just instead of um, plugging this new bit into this lerp, I'm just going to plug in this new lerp into the alpha there. And then what will happen is if I set the constant value there to zero, it's just going to do this thing here. If I set this constant value to one, then it's going to kind of flow through all of this. So all of this stuff is going to happen when that's at one, whereas just this is going to happen. So the A, what's in the A is going to happen if that's at zero, if the alpha there is at zero, and what's in the B is going to happen if the alpha is at one. So I can just set this up now however, however I want. That will just control that fall off. Um, what I probably want is somewhere in between the two, so maybe at like 0.2. And now I get this kind of best of both worlds situation. So I still get, uh, I can get paint stuff in a bit more subtly and a bit more soft like it is here. 
Uh, but I'm still getting a little bit of that mottled fall off that's transitioning the two textures nicely. So let's just paint some of that out. Maybe like that. And that looks pretty good to me. Um, those textures are blending together quite nicely. I'm not seeing any of the uh, any of the sort of verts in there. I'm not seeing any of the polys with the blending. But also, I'm not getting that mottled effect too strongly, which I think wasn't really working for those two textures. Okay, so let's hook up the next texture. So this is the next texture I've got. So I'm going to need another lerp. And I'm going to copy this lerp as well. So I've got the same the same control in there. And that means that I'm going to have uh, the green channel is just going to go to the A. And then the green channel flowing through all of these nodes is going to go to the B. And the alpha, I will, I'm going to have this a bit higher for this one. So I'm going to have this at maybe 0.7. What I'll probably do is set up a material instance so that I can sort of change these in, in real time and uh, slide things up and down and get things exactly where I want them. Okay, so that's going to power the alpha of this lerp. And then we're just going to say we want all of this stuff in the A. And then we want this texture to go into the B. So anything that I've got something painted in the green channel is going to have this and anything that I haven't got something painted in the green channel is going to do all of what we had before. So let's hook that up to the base color, apply that and now I can just get my green channel and I'll be able to paint some of this texture into there. Maybe I'll have a bit of this as though it's sort of wear around the outside of this wall. And again, I'll just want to, that sort of muscling effect I think is just a little high. So I'll just take my, this lerp and I can control that. So maybe let's try, try that point four instead. That looks better. So I can probably bring this quite low, even the, the brush and bring my strength right up. And I can sort of paint in some little crosses and stuff in here. As though that's been cut away. What I'm going to do in a bit is I'm going to um, tessellate this and I'm going to make it so that all of the stuff where we've painted this texture uh, is kind of a, creates a hole in the ground there and then we're going to fill those with some water as well. Okay, let's just call that done, I think. Maybe I have a bit of it here. Okay, that looks all right. Um, so at the moment, this is kind of all right, but these materials look a bit rubbish. So we need to hook up some normal maps and some roughness maps. I'm just gonna uh, take this out of the um, specular. My metallic will be down at zero anyway. Uh, I, we shouldn't need a specular because we'll, we'll be 
these materials I've set them up to be uh, pretty close to physically correct so I should just be able to drive that through the roughness and it should be able to figure out the, the spec from that. Um, yeah we're not using our blue channel for anything yet I'm going to use that to paint some water in in a bit. Okay so let's bring in our normal maps so just drag them in and let's move all of these down here just to see what order they're in so that's bottom one in fact they should be just like that okay so this is just exactly the same as what we did before first of all I want to uh, I need obviously the same texture coordinate in these things to match up with diffuse just put that in then I'm going to need these two lerps here so that one is going to be A in there and B in there and then that's going to be B in there and then this is going to power that alpha just like it does up there and this one is going to power that alpha so this is just exactly the same as, as what I've done up here I've just duplicated it and done the same thing but with the normal maps so uh, whilst we're here let's also do the same for the roughness maps uh, my roughness maps are just in my alphas here so all I need to do for the roughness is drag that one in there and that one in there and that gets powered by that this one's going to get powered by that and that alpha is going to be in there so that'll be my roughness okay so this should be looking a little bit nicer now we've got a bit of a normal map on it and some roughness going on um, and these are closer to to kind of physically correct materials okay so I'll stop this video here and in the last video for this I'll uh, create a bit of water that we can paint in here as well so some puddles and that kind of thing and we'll also tessellate this and displace it um, so that these cracked bits here are kind of bashed out and go down into the ground and they've got we can paint puddles of water inside those.